What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you another division video. Today's video is going to be focused on the next global event and how to get the mask. A lot of you have been asking, hey, how do you get those masks fast? What is the easiest way to get those masks? And if you watched my last video, everything you need to know about the global event, I talked a little bit about them. So this video is going to be in full detail exactly what you need to do and the fastest way to do that. So let's get into this video. But before we do guys, I just want to say thank you guys again for all the support. Thank you for all all 25,000 subscribers guys huh. without you guys without you guys watching my videos without you guys hitting those thumbs up without you guys commenting this wouldn't be possible so I'm truly grateful for every single one of you guys and remember if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching a video hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoy this video hit the thumbs up and if you have any questions after watching this video use the comment section down below and don't forget if you want to catch me streaming live during this global event or streaming live in general you need to head over to my twitch I'll put a link to it in the description box down below. Drop a follow if you want to help the channel. If you want to help support the stream, you can always hit subscribe. And if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe for free. So that is enough talking. Let's get into this video, guys. So the first thing you guys want to do is head over to your commendations and then go down to GE Strike. Now, for most of you guys, you might not see this or if the global event has already started by the time this video comes out, you will. So once you get down to the bottom, you'll see GE Strike. And then you'll see the three masks. So we have the jungle mask, we have the classic mask, and then we have the rider mask. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the two easiest masks first, which are the rider mask and the classic mask. And then we'll get into detail about how to do the jungle mask. So the first mask I'm going to talk to you guys about is the classic mask. To get this mask, you need to complete a strike without taking any explosive damage from an ally. So completing a mission during strike with the specified conditions are required. So the conditions that are required are world tier 5, hard difficulty or above, tactical strike, and you have to be in a group. So you can't do this by yourself. You need to be with at least one other team member so you can do it in two-man team, three-man team, four-man team, but it just can't be solo. Now this mask is pretty cool looking. Let's get into it and then I'll explain how you can get this mask. So if we look at this mask, it's pretty neat looking. It has white, red, blue. If you watched my last video, I talked a little about how I feel all these masks kind of look like paintball masks a little bit. You'll end up getting this mask without even really trying as long as you do one mission like this. So I might as well just explain it to you how easy it is to get this mask. So complete a strike without taking no explosive damage from an ally. So what that means is, on the modifier tactical strike, when you're getting shot, you'll have this red bar that keeps filling up. Once it fills up all the way, you'll explode. And if you're near your teammates, it's gonna make your teammates take damage. And that's when you won't get this mask. So what my team did to get this mask is we split up. You'll see in the video that I was a sniper, so I stayed in the back. We had a reclaimer who just dropped a box and he stayed on the opposite side of me. And then we had one shotgunner who rushed and then we had another DPS guy staying on the opposite side of the shotgunner. And that way, if we did explode, we wouldn't cause any damage to our teammates. So now that you guys know how to get the classic mask, let's get into how you get the rider mask. If you completed the classic mask, you'll find that most likely you might have unlocked the rider mask. But if you haven't, it's pretty simple to do. To get this mask, you need to complete a strike activity without taking any explosive damage. The conditions for this are world tier five, hard difficulty or above, preemptive or tactical strike. So before I talk to you a little bit of how easy it is to get this mask, let's take a look at it. So this mask to me looks like a paintball mask like all the other masks on this global event, but it kind of also looks like a snowboard mask. So if you put this with the right snow outfit, you kind of look like you're a snowboarder. You look like you're going skiing. So it's kind of cool to use. What I use it all the time out of this global event is probably one of the easiest your mask to get now the easiest way for you guys to get this mask is stay behind so if you watch the last mask the classic mask you saw how it was up top and as you see in this video I'm sitting up top well what you need to make sure is that you don't take any damage from your teammate so when you have preemptive strike active remember if your teammate takes enough damage he'll explode so if you take damage from him or if you kill an enemy and then that enemy drops an explosion on the ground and you get hit by that you will not unlock this mask you only have to do it for one mission so it's not like you have to do it multiple times you do it one time and you will unlock the mask. That's why unlocking the classic mask and unlocking this mask, the rider mask, is pretty easy to do. What I recommend is either using a sniper rifle or using some type of urban MDR or long distance weapon. When you guys are completing the classic mask, you'll most likely unlock the rider mask. I did this in the last global event and the first mission of the day. It was pretty quick to do. Now the third mask is gonna take a little bit more time. This has killed 150 Riker bosses during the strike. So this mask is gonna be really tough to do in just four days. 
so you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to unlock this mask. The good thing about this, there's no condition that you have to really worry about. You can do it on tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five. I'm not 100% sure if when this next global event kicks off, they'll raise this tier level to tier five like they've done some of the other masks, but for now, you can complete this mask on tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four, and tier five. So if this video comes out and then you guys notice, hey, you need to be on tier five, let me know in the comment section, but most likely you will not need to be in the lower tier levels to unlock this mask. Remember, you gotta kill 150 Riker bosses during the strike. So there are three open world bosses that you can get to, and then of course there are some in the dark zone. I will kind of stay out of the dark zone because it's a lot of running around you need to do. The three open world bosses are pretty simple to get to, and you could do those every four hours. So if you just wanna do those while you're farming, because you can also get some GE credits, I would recommend it. One once I show you where those three bosses are, I'll show you the fastest way to unlock this mask. So the first boss is going to be located just outside of the safe house, Autumn's Hope. So once you leave Autumn's Hope, you're going to want to take a right, you're going to take another right, and then I'm going to put a little checkpoint so that way you guys can see where he's going to be located at. So he's literally in between West 49th Street and Broadway Street. He's usually walking up and down this street. I just put a checkpoint there so that way you guys can see. Once you come out, you take a left and then you'll have all three guys right in front of you. And that is going to be Bullet King. So the, so the boss you're looking for right outside the safe house is Bullet King. That will count as one Riker boss. Now remember, he won't respond for another four hours. So let's head off to the next boss you can get in the open world. The next open world boss is going to be just south of Union Square. I'm going to put a checkpoint there. And the safe house we're going to travel to is Last Call. So Riker King is going to be located at the end of this street. As you saw, I was able just to one shot them. And then what you need to do is before you can fast travel to the next boss, just clear out the area. The next boss you can go to is Chains, and that's the last open world Riker boss you can kill. So the fastest way to get to him is fast travel to the ward. So I'm gonna put the waypoint of where this boss is located, but just follow along. It's easier just to watch this video. Once you come out of this safe house, the first thing you want to do is take a left and then you're going to take one more left right after that. So as long as you stay following this building right here and to know that you're on the right path, you're going to see this basketball court to your right. And then right when you take a left, you're going to see chains right in front of me. He's going to be the heavy gunner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot one of the little guys first. And that's it guys. That is the third open world boss. That is all you can really get from the open world. Now you can get some guys in the dark zone. I'm not going to go into that. That'll be a little bit longer video. Those three bosses are just pretty fun if you want to take a little break from doing this farming method I'm about to show you. So let's get to the fastest way to get this mask in my opinion. So once we get to Lexington, the thing you want to do is remember you only have to have it on hard. So you're going to put it on hard and that's all you really need to do. What I would recommend you guys doing is since this is not require you to be in world tier five is put it on world tier one so you go to your map you're gonna hit triangle you're gonna put it on world tier one and then you're gonna hit confirm so now you can see we're on hard and then we're on world tier one now remember this is not for farming ge credits this is just for getting that mask so first you're gonna do is start the mission run through it and then i'll talk to you in just a sec so once you open the door this is where you need to pay attention guys you're gonna go up these stairs and then whatever build you have, I would recommend having some kind of high damage sniper rifle. You're gonna push all the way to the top. This way you can one shot Lorraine Barrett. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run up here. I'm gonna hit my pulse, pop my booster shot, and then one shot Lorraine Barrett. Now what you wanna do is just jump down, rush straight forward, and then explode this propane tank. 
and then run one more time and then hit this propane tank in front of you right here and then let the NPCs kill you make sure you don't have recovery link on like I did so once you die you just repeat the process over and over 150 times just have a really good sniper rifle post up pop your booster shot hit her in the head rush forward Hit the propane tank and then go rush to the next one. They should kill you before you get there though. There you go. Once you kill yourself, you just have to do this over and over and over. Now, the last global event, they let you do this on tier one. So hopefully they still let you do it on tier one. I don't think they'll change the requirement for the conditions. One thing I do want to let you guys know, if they do change it, that you have to do it on world tier five, you won't be able to one shot her like that. You can probably take some of her health down, but you can also do it a different way. You just got to rush in there. Hit the two heavies and then just rush down. She should come out in just a second. As soon as she comes out, kill her, leave the NPCs up and then let the NPCs kill you. So that's a different way you can do it. You won't be able to one shot those heavies like that in tier one, but you will be able to kill them. So just wait for her to come out, one shot her. And then as soon as you one shot her, let the NPCs kill you. So don't worry about him. So you take down Lorraine Barrett and then let the NPCs kill you. And then do the same thing over and over and over. So I hope this clarifies on how you guys can get this mask. If you guys still have any questions, make sure you guys use the comment section down below. I just want to say thank you guys again for all the support. Remember, I will be streaming live Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern time and then Saturdays during the day. So my next stream will be Friday at 6 p.m. So if you guys want to go catch me over there on Twitch, I'll leave a link to it down in the description box. Make sure you drop a follow if you guys want to support that channel. We do have some new merchandise you guys can purchase. I'll put a link to it down below too. So if you want to get some merchandise like shirts sweaters phone cases with the nothing but skills logo go ahead order through that website and that also helps support my channel so i want to thank you guys again for all the support if you don't see me in last stand if you don't see me in the dark zone if you don't see me in skirmish i'm probably grinding this global event nothing but skills is out